Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry in advance, I am kind of losing my voice, but this is going to be another addition to the IEM quest for the best competitive audio. This is a review of the Shure EJ07M Kinda Lava Edition. The Shure EJ07M Kinda Lava Edition is a collaboration between Shure and Hawaiian Bad Boy, aka Bad Guy Good Audio Reviews on YouTube. He has a wealth of knowledge and this collaboration definitely brings up some better attributes out of the EJ07M with a more tuned uh, elevation in the mid bass region coming from the sub bass. And I can say that the EJ07M is probably the best IEM that I've used for the purposes of professional gaming or competitive gaming uh, ranked grinding. The EJ07M is definitely better and beats out the Blessing 2s as a result of the little bit of elevation where it needed it in the frequency graph. Mid bass is a little bit elevated, bringing out the footsteps a little bit more. And the EJ07M is a tribrid configuration with a Sonian electrostatic drivers, as well as balanced armatures in each side, as well as a uh, 10 millimeter nanotube dynamic driver on each side. So you do have seven drivers in each IEM. And the Sonian drivers are definitely from what I've listened to with the Monarch MK2. I think the Sonian drivers are very, very quality drivers and the price point for these IEMs I don't think is a far off asking price for what they do compared to the other IEMs on the market. But I can say that you will typically find these on sale in the $500 region, especially on Shure's website from time to time. Uh, but I will leave a Amazon link down below if you want to buy them right now. And in terms of a unboxing experience, it actually is quite classy. You get, uh, of course, some miscellaneous documents, your manual. You do get foam ear tips as well as silicone ear tips in different variants. Uh, and you do get a nice little hard uh, carrying case for the EJ07Ms. And within here is the a uh, little cleaning device for the top nozzle of the IEM as well as the cable, uh, but quite a nice hard carrying case for the IEMs. So for music listening purposes, I am somebody who listens to a wide array of music. I listen to Kendrick Lamar, I listen to Post Malone, I listen to Modest Yahoo, I listen to a lot of different reggae artists, I listen to a lot of uh, hip hop, pop, rap, R&B, I listen to uh, things like Sublime, Red Hot Chili Peppers, uh, the list goes on and on and on. I think the only thing I don't really listen to is country music, it's just never been my thing. But I can say that for me personally, and I do have the Sedna uh, shorts on this, um, on the EJ07M right now, I think they're very comfortable, they work very well on the EJ07M, if anybody is interested in third-party tips for it. I think you could probably use this as a analytical listening tool. It's not as dry as something like the HD 560s from Sennheiser, the over-the-ear headphones. You definitely have an elevation in that sub-bass a little bit. You hear that power, what you expect out of that sub-bass. Definitely not a bass-heavy IEM, so if you're looking for something very fun to just get a uh, very energetic listening experience. I don't think you really get that out of the EJ07M as far as music's concerned, but I think it's a very neutral, very balanced, but with a level of fun, thanks to the little bit of elevation on the kind of lavas in the area of mid bass and that sub bass to mids, um, you definitely get a very, very nice bump to the kick drums. You get a nice bump to bass guitars, everything that you kind of get those bassy uh, sub bassy tones with. The vocals remain very, very clean. The guitar strings, each stroke, you hear it pretty much flawlessly and how you would expect it to sound. And when you're listening to things on YouTube, uh, people's vocals through their microphones in reviews or whatever videos you're looking at, I can say it's definitely something that sounds very, very analytical and true to the source. So for that, I personally really, really enjoy it. It is something that is in between, something that is insanely fun like the Zen's up and something very, very analytical. So you kind of get the best of both worlds with the EJ07M as far as music's concerned in my personal opinion. Now for gaming, where these excel is the imaging and the sound stage. I think these are absolutely flawless as far as imaging is concerned. As far as IEMs go, the hardest thing for me as far as audio is concerned is getting a sense of where somebody is in terms of elevation. The EJ07M, I'm able to pinpoint everything flawlessly from a distance, close range, even at elevation. And instead of, let's say you have three targets, one, two, three, 
instead of getting just a general sense of where somebody is, and you might have a little circle around the middle crosshair or a target and the far right target, um, and, and you, you hear that, you know generally where somebody is at height. These are, in my opinion, very pinpoint precise as to, as to where exactly that person is above you and below you. And that is something I haven't really experienced on an IEM. The Duty Falcon Pros were very good in getting a general sense, knowing if somebody is above you or below you, knowing kind of the direction of where they are, but the EJ07Ms are pinpoint precise. And transferring over to Valorant, they are extremely good. In terms of deathmatch, you definitely pick up everything wherever somebody is in a 360 degree radius. You hear with distance, you hear flawlessly while too many things are going on, abilities, etc. While you are shooting, if somebody's in front of you or behind you, I don't have a issue with that kind of getting clogged up, which is something that I've noticed on a lot of IEMs when something is going on in front of you and something's going on behind you at the same time. They become a little bit clustered, a little bit difficult to get a representation of where somebody is, but the imaging on the EJ07M is absolutely flawless in that use case scenario. In Apex Legends, I have had an absolute blast with these. These are probably the favorite thing I've ever used compared to even over-the-ear headphones. I will not be getting rid of my EJ07M. I will be using this on a daily uh, uh, use case scenario for competitive climbing, competitive grinding. I think they are extremely good. And the only limiting factor here for a lot of users, a lot of gamers, is going to be the price. But again, if you keep your eyes on Shore's website and other websites, you might be able to find a very, very good deal. And again, something like IEMs, you're not going to need a super expensive amp. You're not going to need a super expensive DAC. So you're going to be able to save uh, a little bit as far as needing that high-powered desktop amp or DAC. For the purposes of the IEM tier list, I am obviously going to put these as number one. I think these beat out the Blessing 2s. They beat out the Dunu Falcon Pro. The Dunu Falcon Pro is going to be my number two. Those are $220, I believe, MSRP. And I think the Dunu Falcon Pros are still extremely, extremely good, but they are not as clear and analytical as the EJ07M. That definitely comes as a result of that frequency graph and their sound reproduction, but very good as far as imaging, very good as far as sound stage. So I think the Dunu Falcon Pro is going to remain as my number two. Although the Blessing 2s are somewhat similar to the EJ07M on a graph, I don't think that the Blessing 2s have nearly as good of a soundstage or imaging. That could be a result of the drivers, but the frequency response on the EJ07M is definitely elevated over the Blessing 2s on the bassy areas as well as the mid bass going into the mids. So I think having a little bit of an elevation in the mids is definitely a uh, contributing factor to hearing footsteps with a greater representation as far as imaging is concerned. Um, and keeping the sub bass not overpowered compared to the mid bass and the mids is definitely very important for when too many things are going on at the same time. You don't want a lot of sub bass because then that sub is really rolling in your head and just overpowering a lot of things that are going on in game. The EJ07M, the kind of lava edition is striking a perfect balance for me in game in both Apex Counter-Strike Global Offensive, as well as Valorant. And guys, when I started the quest for the best IEMs for competitive gaming purposes, I certainly was not aware that IEMs were as expensive as they are or can get as expensive as they are. But the quality that comes out of the pair of EJ07M Kind of Lava Edition is superb, not only for the music that I listen to, but for gaming purposes. And it's very, very nice. The quality of life of using IEMs over over-the-ear headphones, I am personally enjoying it right now. The EJ07M cable is extremely lightweight, very, very comfortable, doesn't drag on my ears, and the IEMs themselves are very, very lightweight, making for a very enjoyable experience. Probably the most comfortable IEMs that I've tried to date as well. As far as the weight and the size, the nozzle, everything really is just a comfortable, high quality, very well performing product that I cannot recommend enough. I will leave links in the uh, description below regarding the ear tips that I personally am using on my EJ07M and a link to the EJ07M Kind of Lava Edition as well. 
But that is it for this review, guys. We will continue to look at additional IEMs. I do, I promise, have budget IEMs coming, and we will try to analyze the lower-priced IEMs for competitive gaming purposes to try to find one in that up to $100, $120, $150 range to try to help out everybody who is on a very, very, very tight budget to help you out with getting the best pick for competitive purposes in both tech shooters as well as broad, expansive maps like Apex. But I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace.